Nikola Tesla is undoubtedly one of the most brilliant scientists our Earth has ever seen. Born on July 10, 1856, in the tranquil village of Smiljan, Croatia, Tesla's revolutionary ideas and inventions laid the foundation for the electric age. But although we still draw on the achievements of the genius, one thing is certain. If all the visions of the exceptional physicist had been realized, our lives would be completely different today. But beware, since some of Tesla's mind games had the potential to transform our blue home planet into an apocalyptic moonscape, we can sometimes even consider ourselves lucky that some of the genius's ideas were never realized. You want to know what frightening things went through Nikola Tesla's mind? And why did the United States confiscate the inventor's documents immediately after his death? Then be sure to watch today's video to the end. The Secret Documents It is January 8, 1943, when Nikola Tesla is found in the New Yorker Hotel after he passed away. Hard hit by the consequences of the global economic crisis, the genius spent the last years of his life in relative isolation. When Tesla withdrew more and more from the public, the inventor was dealing with the concept of an ominous beam weapon. Was this also the reason why the officials of the Office of Alien Property Custodian were on the floor immediately after the death of the physicist and confiscated all the documents? After all, World War II was still in full swing when Tesla died. It is obvious that those responsible were not keen on the plans for a powerful radiation weapon getting into the hands of the enemy. But before we go into the question of what happened to the top secret documents in the years that followed and what content they really hide, we should first address another topic. Why did Tesla want to develop a death ray in the first place? Genius and Madness it's well known that Nikola Tesla was a very special person. In retrospect, some experts even attest to the genius to have a full-blown obsessive-compulsive disorder. According to this, the inventor was almost obsessed with certain numbers. This was sometime expressed in the fact that Tesla always circled a building three times before entering it. If you could understand the magnificence of the numbers 3, 6, and 9, you would have the key to the universe, said Tesla. Whether the genius actually spoke these famous words or whether they were put into his mouth by mistake is uncertain. What is certain, however, that those numbers had a very special status in the life of the scientist. But what was the background to this particular claim? Basically, Tesla was considered an extremely superstitious person who felt that the corresponding numbers followed him everywhere. Accordingly, one would encounter the respective numbers again and again in the most diverse areas of life. Even in human history, these numbers of three have a centuries-long tradition. For example, let's think of the world-famous ancient Egyptian pyramids, which are triangular geometric objects. In the Christian faith, the Trinity of Father, Son, and Holy Spirit has always been a fundamental principle. The sanctity that Tesla attributed to these digits, which can each be divided by three, had no religious meaning, but rather a scientific background. This particular trinity, if you will, was composed of energy, frequency, and vibration unique cornerstones that Tesla believed held all the mysteries of the universe. In addition, the physicist had a deep aversion to jewelry. It was said that the mere sight of a pearl was enough to make Tesla physically ill. In fact, Tesla's list of quirks is long, ranging from unusual eating and sleeping habits to a strange passion for pigeons. Nikola Tesla created the basis for electric motors, the radio, remote control, and the modern alternating current network. Just a quick look at Nikola Tesla's achievements and ideas is enough to convince yourself of the extraordinary genius of the unique scientist. However, anyone who dealt with Tesla as a person, apart from these professional milestones, would quickly realize that the life of the exceptional physicist was not nearly as dazzling as his visions and inventions. Accordingly, throughout his life, Tesla was not allowed to step out of the shadow of his professional colleagues. In fact, in January 1943, the genius died completely alone and penniless in a humble New York hotel. Those people who were lucky enough to accompany Tesla for a short time in his life later spoke not only of the ingenuity of the genius, but also of his particular quirks and habits. A brief insight into Tesla's unusual habits goes as follows. According to his own statements, the physicist only slept two hours a night. 
Before taking a bite of his meal, he calculated the exact volume of the food on his fork. The same was true for the volumes of the cups and plates that ended up on Tesla's table. Speaking of women, Tesla convinced that a relationship would distract him too much from his work chose to remain a bachelor until his death. Instead, Tesla preferred the company of feathered contemporaries, having pet birds in place of friends. Since the physicist had a thing for pigeons, he regularly went to Central Park to feed his feathered friends. If he saw an injured pigeon, he took it back to his hotel room where he nursed it back to health. But the list of Tesla's peculiarities does not end here. Aside from his hatred of jewelry and all things flashy, he also had a distaste for anything that was round. This is an odd quirk to explain, but it seems that he simply couldn't stand to be around round objects. He also hated touching someone else's hair other than his own. To make matters worse, Tesla had a very difficult sleeping pattern and preferred to only sleep for around two hours each night. He would begin his work around 9 a.m. each day and would work throughout the day until 6 p.m. At exactly 6.10 p.m., he would stop his work and have dinner, ensuring that he wore his white gloves with every meal. After he finished his meal, he would get back to work and continue working until 3 in the morning. Even though he clearly lived a very unhealthy lifestyle, Nikola Tesla managed to live to see the age of 86 and was all around a relatively healthy person. Though despite his decent death, he was often struck by the obsessive behavior that led him to struggle with basic daily tasks. For example, he was obsessed with the number three. Anytime he washed his hands, he would wash them three times in a row. If he needed to enter a building, he would walk a lap around the building three times before entering. It was this behavior in more recent years that led experts to believe that he most likely suffered from some form of autism spectrum disorder, with the most common belief being that he had Asperger's syndrome, which is often described as a high-functioning version of autism that can often go undiagnosed. But did all this mean that Nikola Tesla was, to put it bluntly, completely insane? Did the quirks and the quirks ultimately manifest themselves in a psychosis that would end up in the annihilation of humanity? After all, the mysterious particle beam weapon would have had the potential to completely destroy the enemy, even over enormous distances. Well, it's not quite like that, quite the opposite. In truth, Tesla wanted to develop the so-called death ray to give us the long-awaited world peace. What initially sounds like a contradiction in terms becomes quite plausible when we take a look at Tesla's thought on this. Knowing that the enemy possessed an equally powerful weapon of mass destruction, neither side would dare to strike first. The fear of retaliation would simply be too great. The Tesla Files Three weeks after Tesla's death, an electrical engineer from MIT was assigned to review the confiscated papers to see if they contained ideas of significant value. Officially, the expert concluded that Tesla's documents were primarily speculative and philosophical in nature. As a result, the papers contained no practical principles or methods by which the visions could be realized. The fact that we even know about this internal evaluation is thanks to the publication of around 250 Tesla-related pages in 2016. After repeated voices about possible cover-ups, the mentioned documents should be disclosed. Another publication took place in March 2018. However, anyone who now believes that the mystery of the disappeared Tesla files would solve anything is very wrong, because the fact there are still many unanswered questions even after publication, not to mention that some documents are still being kept under wraps. Divided Camps Incidentally, the scientist who examined the Tesla documents at the time was a certain Dr. John G. Trump. The uncle of the future U.S. President Donald Trump was involved, among other things, in the development of X-ray machines. And if one could believe the statements of his nephew, he was already enthusiastic about nuclear energy long before the first nuclear power plant was built. Officially, the report was taken as proof that such a device did not exist and they were dealing here with rumors and speculation. However, even those responsible in the U.S. were divided in their reaction to Tesla's supposed death technology. Let's just look at the statement that L.C. Craigie met at the time. The Brigadier General was held in high esteem as the first person to fly a military jet aircraft. Regarding Tesla's concept, he stated, there's something to it. The particle beam weapon is real. Teleforce 
If you follow Tesla's statements, the matter actually seems to be clear. At a press conference in 1937, the genius was asked about the groundbreaking idea of his weapon and replied, but it's not an experiment. I have built, demonstrated, and used them, and it will be a while before I can give it to the world. Three years later, the now 84-year-old even offered to develop the weapon for the United States, although this offer did not meet with much interest. In detail, the weapon was mentioned by the New York Times and the New York Sun as early as the mid-1930s. However, Tesla pointed out that the touted death ray was actually not a ray at all. Actually, rays are not applicable because they could not be produced in the required quantity. According to the law of physics, the rays would scatter so far that they would be ineffective. According to Tesla, his apparatus on the other hand would project particles. The structure Basically, only a few components are needed to realize this so-called teleforce device, an apparatus for generating energy manifestations in the open air. The mechanism capable of generating tremendous electric power and a corresponding mechanism that intensifies and amplifies the generated power. For the projector or the gun of the weapon, a new method of generating a powerful electric repulsion force would be needed. In 1940, Tesla estimated that teleforce would cost no more than $2 million to build and could be completed in a matter of months. And indeed, after Tesla's death, John G. Trump is said to have come across the box that allegedly contained part of the apparatus. However, the purpose of the old resistance box has not been finally clarified. Lost Documents Then there is the question of the missing files. When Tesla died, his estate was supposed to go to his nephew, Sava Kosinovic. At the time, he was the Yugoslav ambassador to the United States. However, according to the released documents, some officials feared that Kosinovic would seize control of Tesla's technologies and leak the information to the enemy. To prevent this, the idea of having Tesla's nephew arrested was even toyed with. The Question of Whereabouts In 1952, a U.S. court finally named Kosinovic as Tesla's rightful heir. As a result, Tesla's files and other items were sent to Belgrade, where they are now housed in the Nikola Tesla Museum. The problem, while Tesla's estate originally contained 80 boxes, only 60 arrived in Serbia. In this regard, there are now two possibilities. Either the entire content was stored in 60 chests to save space, or the U.S. government kept the missing boxes themselves. Despite John G. Trump's negative assessment, the U.S. military tried to get the particle beam weapons off the ground in the decades following World War II. So assuming that the 20 missing boxes were actually retained, it may be possible that the United States is still using Tesla's ideas for its own ends. This would explain why some files on the inventor were still kept under lock and key. Tesla's Legacy there is evidence that Franklin D. Roosevelt, Vice President Henry Wallace, discussed Tesla's idea of wireless power transmission and the so-called death ray with his advisors, according to documents released in 2016. It is rumored that Vannevar Bush also met with Tesla as the coordinator of the Manhattan Project. The engineer was instrumental in the development of the atomic bomb. It is uncertain which of Tesla's ideas are still hidden. What is certain, however, is that the legacy of the genius lives on to this day. It doesn't matter whether it's the AC network, electric motors, remote control, or the radio. Nikola Tesla was generations ahead of his time and created the basis for the electric world. But that's not all. Many experts are convinced that Tesla's visions will also play a significant role in the technologies of the future. All right, folks, now it's your turn. Do you think Tesla actually developed a working weapon of mass destruction? And what do you think the missing documents are all about? As always, let us know your thoughts, suggestions, and feedback on today's video in the comments below. Don't forget to give us a like and subscribe so you never miss a post again. And with that, thanks for watching. Have a good one and see you next time.